everybody. It is Kim coming at you live this Friday afternoon, a very hot Friday afternoon, if I don't mind saying so. Ooh, you want to grab those two? Well, I'll grab them. I've got some new stuff to show you, and I forgot I got some new Kimberbell to show you too, so I'm going to have to grab that when we get done with this new Christmas and fall fabric. I've got three, four, four. I have four different lines to show you. Uh, yeah, mom's, mom's right. counting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was right. Uh, one from Riley Blake, one from Benertex, and two from Three Wishes, Three Wishes Fabrics. I really like their lines because they're super small. They're only like five or six prints, so you can get a lot done with those. Got a couple free patterns. So I'm just gonna go ahead, turn around, and get to work here. This is Riley Blake's newest. It is called The Magic of Christmas. We didn't get the whole line, but we did get a lot of really great Christmas blenders. Good afternoon, Marie. So this one here is a single. This is Snowflakes Flourish. Apparently that's what they call those little swirls. They call them a flourish. Okay. okay. So this is a red and a white. This is going to retail for twelve thirty. Uh, the entire line, I've got it here. So this is the snowflakes on red. This is a fun main print. It's a, it actually is showing up. I'm quite impressed. Like an evergreen, a super dark green, and then all these fun poinsettias and evergreen sprigs, a directional tree, lots of different trees here. Nice little size, little snowflakes and dot. That's on a cream background as well. The next print I have in three colorways. It's a lot of holly berries and kind of spruce leaves and some snowflakes here and there. This is a, on a white creamish background, on a black background, and then this is like a tonal green on green. We've got one print here of these really cute little candy canes and the stars on there. I think are more of like a limey green than a true Christmas green. So that's a super small candy cane print. This next one is really fun. It is, well, that one's not, this is a blender. This <laughs> squirrel, this is not from the magic of Christmas. This is actually one of Riley Blake's blenders that they always have. And so we got it to go with the line. It's got a lot of fun little, they're little Christmas trees instead of just like a little dot. These little guys, this is directional. They're these little jars, little miniature jars of little Christmas scenes. So here's Rudolph, here's Santa. Apparently he didn't get the memo to go down feet first. Not quite sure. Mary, they have little, whoops, tags. They have different things on here. So this one says, let it snow. That one says, Mary. Didn't you used to put your something. elf on the shelf in a jar so you could take him places? We did. We didn't put him in there, Mom. The elf did it himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, way to blow it, Mom. Jeez okay, Louise. So, yeah. so there's there's <laughs> fun mini jars in red and the same concept in a white. Again, you can see that little detail of these little mini jars. It's cute. I think it would be super cute even on like a table runner, which I have a pattern for. And then, of course, you cannot have Christmas without some buffalo checks. We got it in the black and white, and of course the black and red. Always looking for buffalo checks. And mom's albeit favorite, binding. Perfect, right? Candy cane stripes, this is the red and the green, the green and the white, and the red and the white. I do have a free pattern on our website already at sostormquilting.com called Under the Tree. It's a table runner. And it measures at 18 and a half by 46 and a half. The fabric requirements are listed there as well. So if you're interested in that, you can see that on our website too. Next. Ta-da! Very nice, Vanna. Now, what would you call this line? Winter at the farm. She should have been prepared better. So this is the panel, Winter at the Farm from Benertex. It is a two-thirds yard panel. This little guy, I mean, this has like a very, I don't want to say primitive. That's not the right word. It's not vintage, but it reminds me of like the country Christmas stuff that mom had decorating her house when I was a kid. 
you know it's just so cute and it's got these little cows look at this cow look at miss bessie there with her three birds all in a row actually it's super cute and you know i don't like birds but that fat chicken i bet That's i bet a rooster. It's a broiler to me. I would eat that. He'd fit in a pan. He'd fit in a pan. Oh, that's sorry. Did we take it too far? Okay. So that is Winter on the Farm, the panel. Two thirds yards. It's retailing at eight sixty five, And I've got a few blenders to go with it. These fun Christmas tractors. If you like red tractors, I think this is going to be what you need for your Christmas projects. There's also a cute little cardinal just sitting there. Oh, there's two. Oh my gosh, if you look real close, there's Christmas lights. Ah, that's adorable. I just noticed that now. And of course, the running yardage. Now, this running yardage, look at the tractor. He also has Christmas lights all over him. And we've got the snowman, and we've got a fat Christmas hog, and Bessie, she's so cute. And a couple blenders. These are going to be great for the free pattern that I have for you as well. Again, on our website at soulstormquilting.com. It's called Snow Hill Farm. It's a nice little lap throw, 40 by 55. But those farmers or farmer's wives, this would be a fun project for those. So three different colors in those. I think they call them snow check. What was that called? Ribbon, ribbon plaid. So it's a little bit different. I like it. That is from Benertex, Winter at the Farm. The next two lines, I do not have a free pattern for, but again, the lines are small, very cute. This one is called the Pick. Mom keeps moving things on me. The Pick of the Patch. So here is running yardage with these amazing packed pumpkins. Lots of different colors in these pumpkins, the leaves. And, oh, mom, more birds. I'm telling you, the birds are going to kill me. But still super cute fabric. This would be really cute to kind of fussy cut out even on a mug rug. So you've got different birds and different bird houses. And we've got some really cute running yard. No, it's not running yardage. Mm -hmm. But it is nice directional. Direction. They're all directional. They're all directional. Except for the last one we're going to show you. This little wheelbarrow, I think, is absolutely adorable. And I love the little detail here of these little, like, broken potted pots here. So it's almost like the bird landed and knocked those pots off. Super cute. And some block. These, they call them, like, patchwork squares. So you could fussy cut them out, make your own blocks. But lots of really cute things that remind us of fall. Look at that. That's Indian corn. Isn't that what that's called, Mom? Mm -hmm. Indian corn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cute. Birds. And the final one is this awesome scattered foliage. Great for any of your fall projects, really. Make a super cute border, even a great back. Throw it on a table runner and a lot of pretty fall colors. More wreaths from Three Wishes. This line is called Farmhouse Christmas. Nice size wreaths. And you can see in there we got some buffalo checks. Sorry, folks, if you don't like them, they're not going anywhere. I hate to disappoint you. So we've got these fun wreaths, a really neat blender, barnwood with some, like, splashes of snowflakes. I really like this one. Super cool. And I'm going to tell you it's going to retail at $10.30 a yard. Look at these red trucks. Now, I feel like this truck would not happen in real life. Have you ever seen a Buffalo Check truck, Mom? No, I haven't either. So, well, somebody's getting creative. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. But these barns are super neat as well. A real nice big print there. I mean, you could fussy cut that out. That's like my whole hand. But nice big prints and details within these trucks and Christmas barns. And then we have the patchwork. Here's more of those wreaths. A little red rider wagon although it doesn't say that. They even gone so far as to put these little birch trees and these sticks inside of this wagon, which is very chic. Little red rider trike. I suppose we can't call it that, can we, Mom? Mm -hmm. But I really like this, these hints of buffalo checks and plaids that are in there. Look at that little reindeer. He's talking to a little cardinal. So 
This is also very cute for Christmas. And finally, the last one, like we had a nice, let's, well, I was trying to say packed. That's what I was thinking of. Packed for the fall and now packed for the winter. Nice pine cones with some really pretty foliage and holly berries. So that are the four. One, two, three, four new lines that I just showed you from Benertex, Riley Blake, and Three Wishes. They're all on our website already at soulstormquilting.com. I have one last thing to show you. I'm super excited about. We've had quite a few people call us, ask us the things. Ready? Boom. Here you go. Kimberbell Falling for Autumn. We have it here in store. So the fabric kits have shipped. They are scheduled to be here tomorrow. So this is the pattern book. You get three extra projects and this beautiful and I'm telling you it's a beautiful fall project measures 40 by 40 for machine embroidery the embellishment kit this is like the neatest thing ever and I'm going to look at that there's even stuff in there to make wreaths but okay this is what I wanted to show you right here you see where it says scented candles you guys they are flipping scratch and sniff. Isn't that hilarious? So the embellishments actually smell like pumpkin spice and harvest chai. I think that is awesome. So I have the embellishment kits, $34.98. The pattern book is $79. Nope, I lied. $74.98 and then you can see there are the fun extra projects. You can see better pictures on our website at sewstormquilting.com. The fabric kits I can tell you retail at $99 but you get fabric to complete all the projects, the full quilt 40 by 40, backing and binding. So I mean it's a great deal. Even better deal, if you check out our website, I've got a bundle and save option to save you 15% if you get all three. It's its own item, so go ahead and search Falling for Autumn. You can get that for an extra almost $32 off, so you're basically getting the embellishments for free. So check it out. Also, make sure you check out our website at soulstormquilting.com. We have a bubble window pop up if you will put in your email address in there and you will get a coupon for a ten dollar off forty dollars or more there are some exclusions that apply it doesn't apply to already discounted items and sale stuff so make sure you check us out we are so excited it's summer but yet more winter fabrics coming in so i guess you'll just have to wait and see i've got more coming next week have a great weekend, stay cool, and go do something fun. Celebrate life with friends and keep sewing up a storm. Bye.